Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to enable SSH within RetroPie 4.2 or higher. The developers disabled SSH by default, but we can easily re-enable it so we can transfer files from FileZilla, WinSCP, or any other SSH application that we want to use like PuTTY. I'm also going to go over how to use WinSCP from your Windows PC to transfer files to your Raspberry Pi's SD card. Now this is going to come in really handy in future videos because I'm just going to refer to this video for you guys. Let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to want to do is go to the RetroPie logo on the front menu. From here, we're going to scroll to Raspi Config. From the Raspi Config menu, we're going to scroll down to Interfacing Options, SSH. At the bottom, make sure yes is highlighted. Would you like the SSH server to be enabled? Yes, we would. It is now enabled. Click OK. We're going to go to finish. And you don't have to do a reboot, but I definitely recommend doing a quick reboot by pressing start, quit, restart emulation station. So now I want to show you guys how to use WinSCP from your Windows PC so you can transfer files over network. This will allow us to see hidden folders and files within the RetroPie file system. You need to be connected to the same network as the PC you're going to be using. You can either use Wi-Fi or Ethernet. I always use Ethernet. We can usually connect to our Raspberry Pi by just typing in RetroPie, but if you want to get technical with it, go to the RetroPie option Scroll down to show IP, write your IP address down. This will allow you to connect over network. Now we're going to be moving over to the PC. I'll show you how to use WinSCP to transfer files to your Raspberry Pi's SD card. Let's move over there now. All right, guys, let's go ahead and download WinSCP. Link is in the description for you guys. Now this is my favorite application to transfer files from my PC to my Raspberry Pi. We're just gonna click on download WinSCP. This is a very safe application. You can scan it if you want, but there will be no viruses detected. Installation package. I wanna install it to my Windows 10 PC. When it's done downloading, go ahead and install it. This might be in your downloads folder. I'm using Chrome, so it's usually at the bottom here. Run. Just click accept. Now I already have it installed, but I'm gonna do a full upgrade. So click next, install, very self-explanatory. So now you can launch WinSCP from here, or it should be on your desktop. If it's not, you can search with your search bar to find WinSCP. Now that we have WinSCP started up, make sure your file protocol is set to SFTP. Under host name, I always use all capital RetroPi. And as long as my Raspberry Pi is connected to the same network as my PC here, it will connect. Your username is going to be Pi, P-I, and your password is going to be Raspberry. From here, I always click Save, and I'm just gonna click Pi at RetroPi. Now, when we start WinSCP back up, we can just double click on this, and it'll start our connection. Warning, potential security breach. Just click update. You might be prompted to put your password back in and that is Raspberry. I'm gonna go ahead and maximize this. We are now inside of the RetroPie file system. So if we click on this very top folder here, it'll bring us all the way back to the end of the directory. Your ROMs and everything are gonna be located under Home, Pi, RetroPi, ROMs. Very easy here. Now, you might not see all of these folders here. That's because I have hidden files enabled and it's very easy to enable hidden files. We're gonna to go to Options, Preferences, Panels, Make sure Show Hidden Files is checked, or you can press Control-Alt-H. Click OK. Now you should see these other folders in here. Now, if you're not sure what you're doing, do not mess with any of these other hidden folders. So that's pretty much it for this video. That's how you enable SSH in RetroPie 4.2 or higher and use WinSCP to connect to your Raspberry Pi. 
Now this is gonna come in very handy in later videos. My next video coming up is how to install and enable video previews within Emulation Station on RetroPie 4.2 or higher. I have a 12 gigabyte pack that I'm gonna be uploading here shortly. Keep an eye out for that video and you will need to enable SSH and use WinSCP to get this going. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments below and like always, thanks for watching.